Hey everybody, this is Justin with Doing Things channel. I just want to welcome everyone to our very first video that we're going to be doing on this channel. Today we're going to be working on our brand new 2017 Jeep Rubicon Unlimited. Um, we want to take the doors off, so what we're going to do is we're going to put on some um, outside mirrors that mount to the body so that we can run with the doors off and be legal. So we're going to walk through that process and uh, I'll show you how it's done. Hey everybody, today in this video we're going to be working on our brand new 2017 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Edition. We got the unlimited four-door um, and we're doing some things to make it our own. We just got this thing a couple months ago and it's been a lot of fun playing with it. What we're doing today is we're going to put on some mirrors so that we can run without the doors and be legal. Today we're putting on the Smitty Built Quick Release Mirror um, that allows us to mount the bracket on there once with the factory bolts and then it has a dis disconnect that we can take off the mirror when we have our doors back on. So we'll go ahead and walk through this and I'm going to have links in the description to where we bought this. We got these on Amazon and I'll have a link in there as well. So let's get to this and let's show you how it's done. Hey everybody, so here we are. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, because this is a JK, these mirrors work on both the JK and then also for the TJs you would do the bottom but since we're on the JK we're going to be removing these uh, top two uh, windshield mount bolts. The tool that you're going to need for that is a, a number 40 Torx. So super easy. We're just going to take these top two off. And we're going to be reusing these factory factory bolts when we mount the mirror back on there. So here is the mount that mounts to the Jeep itself. I'm going to remove that. And you need to put the welded nut side down. That's going to go down on the bottom. This thing does have a pad on it, so you do have to squish it in pretty good to get the factory bolts started. Once we get that, we'll get it all tightened down. All right, so now that we've got that bracket mounted, we're gonna get the bushings and the bar. So each side comes with these bushings. They're half and they've got a notch cut out of them. So that notch is gonna be facing outward. And then the bar itself has two sets of holes in it. That way it can go either on the driver's side or the passenger side. So what we're going to do is we're going to just input the that bar, that mounting bar, and make sure that our holes line up just like that. And you want it slightly up facing up because the other hole faces it way down and that will face it the wrong direction. So get it in there make sure that that, uh, that bar is in there. The holes line up and then it's facing slightly up and then we're just going to slide it into that bracket. And then we're going to put our wing nut through. And get that in there. We're just going to leave it kind of loose for right now. Okay. So now that we've got the bar on, we've got the bracket on, we've got the bushings in, and we've got the wing nut in there, and we've got that bar somewhat secured, we're going to leave it kind of loose right now um, until we get uh, final adjustment. So next is the mirror. It's the round mirror. I got the black. Um, our new Jeep is blue, as you can see, so we're going to keep the black and blue going. So the next step is a, a 12, 12 millimeter socket. We're going to release that screw on the back of the mirror, making sure we don't... Uh, lose our washers 
has a flat washer and a lock washer on it. It's just going to mount straight on on here like so. Get that nice and tight. Perfect. So now we've got that on there. And the mirror still moves just a little bit. So what I'm going to do uh, with the screwdriver on the back of the mirror, um, on the back there, there's three screws. Here, let me see if I can show you what that looks like really quick here. So there's three screws right here. And what we want to do is we want to just tighten those just a little bit. It just puts a little bit of tension on that disc and prevents it from... Um, moving around as we're out driving. So I don't want to go too tight. We don't want to lock it in place necessarily, but we want to make sure that it's rigid enough um, that it's not going to move anywhere. So, so next I am going to hop in the Jeep and see if we're even close on where that's at and we can make some adjustments. All right, I am pretty close. Now that we've got that, I am just gonna tighten that wing nut super tight. And it should be good to go. All right, there you have it. The Smittybilt quick release mirror. We installed it on the passenger side of the new Jeep. I think it looks pretty sleek. Um, I've seen some that look real big and bulky. This one looks pretty good. Um, I really like that it's got that quick, quick release. So when we throw the doors back on, we just undo the wing nut, pull this off. All you see is that small little bracket. It really blends in. Uh, when we want the doors off, just put it on there. No big deal. It just takes a couple seconds. Um, I really appreciate everyone watching the video. It's our very first video on Doing Things channel here. Um, I'll have the link to the mirrors, uh, the Amazon link. It'll be down in the description. Um, if you're interested in buying the mirrors, please use that link. Um, we'll get a slight commission out of that. And what we're planning on doing with that commission from the Amazon uh, uh, affiliates um, plan is to take that money and use it to buy other product, to try out, to add on, to do more videos um, so that we can kind of do these product reviews and uh, keep people informed. So we appreciate you watching the video. If you have any questions or comments or something, please put them down in the comments section. Um, lots of comments. Please like and definitely please subscribe and go into the little bell and click the on the icon to get alerts so that when we do a new video, you're going to get a quick alert to know that we got a new video and give you something to watch. So again, I'm Justin with the Doing Things channel and we appreciate you being here. So please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time.